So we started up with a small story of an elephant which is tied to a small rope and con it has been conditioned that it can't go away from the place. From childhood, it has been told that it can't move or it can't run away from this place because it has been tied up. Although it is such a huge or a gigantic animal, because of this thought that it cannot run away, it is not moving away. அதே மாதிரிதான் நம்மளும் இந்த யானைய போலதான் நம்மளும் ஒரு பெரிய உருவத்துல இருந்தாலும் நம்மளுடைய சிந்தனைகள் வந்து ரொம்ப பெரிதாக இருந்தாலும் ஒரு சின்னதா ஒரு நெகட்டிவ் தாட் நமக்குள்ளே வந்ததுன்னா நம்மளால முடியாதுன்னு அதுவே நம்மள வந்து பின்தங்க வச்சிருது although we have so much of potential to excel because of this small negative energy or uh, demotivating factors around us we stop progressing ahead so adha odachu ungala ninge ungala neengle nambunga munnoki sellunga siru siru tadaigala vande padikatta vachu munnerinde ponga so with that good thought i shall start up with today's class it is going to be all about figures of speech because in next um, in unit 1 we are going to proceed with the poem a sea fever before that i thought of explaining the various figures of speech that we are having yeah ipo namu english la grammar and verb the parts of speech ingiradhu kelvi padirpom so it this for a sentence what in all parts of speech we know we know noun we know pronoun we know verb adverb preposition conjunction we have totally eight parts of speech so what are these parts of speech doing in a sentence it describes what is a noun in a sentence instead of a noun what are the other words used it says it is a pronoun if at all an action is performed by a person we could term it as a verb if it gives more about information about the action that is performed it is the adverb if it is used in between it is used between a, um, before a noun or a pronoun and gives more information to a sentence we tell it as a preposition conjunction it joins two sentences why am i telling it so when you consider it as a sentence you take into when you consider a sentence you can uh, take into consideration these many uh, parts of speech yeah so similar way when you consider a poem there are figures of speech how it can be told like how a poet wants to describe an event or what it is happening what is being told so what are all the figures of speech which we are going to come across simile metaphor m e t a p h o r i am going to explain then after every figure of speech we are going to play a game the game is going to be in the form of a quiz it will be an interesting quiz okay we have personification alliteration imagery rhyming words ore madriyana satatha kuluk kudiya vaarthigal ore line la irukra kadasi vaarthiyum adutha line la vara kadasi vaarthiyum ore mari satatha therivikka kudiya vaarthigala irundha adha rhyming words nu solluvom idu namakku palakapatta oru vishayam therinja oru vishayam sorry 
ரைமிங் ஸ்கீம் ஒரு போம்ல ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஸ்டாண்டில் நாலு லைன் கொடுக்கப்பட்டிருக்குன்னா முதல் லைன்ல இருக்கிற கடைசி வார்த்தையும் அடுத்த லைன்ல இருக்கிற கடைசி வார்த்தையும் ஒரே மாதிரி சத்தத்தை கொடுத்ததுன்னா அதுக்கு ஒரு வேரியபிளான ஏ வந்து நம்ம அசைன் பண்ணலாம் ஏ ஏ அது மீதி உள்ள ரெண்டு லைன் மூணாவதும் நாலாவதும் வேற சத்தத்தை கொடுக்கறதுனா அதை பின்னு நம்ம கேட்டகரைஸ் பண்ணலாம் அது ரைம் ஸ்கீம் என்ன ரைம் ஸ்கீம்ல வந்து போயமானது எழுதப்பட்டிருக்கு இது எல்லாமே பியோரா ஒரு போயட்டோட டெஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் அவருடைய முடிவு தான் எப்படி தான் போயம் எழுதணும் எப்படி அவருடைய கவிதை எழுதணும்னு அவர் விருப்பப்படுறாரோ அது போல தான் எழுதப்பட்டிருக்கும் ஸோ டிபெண்டிங் அப்பான் தி போயம் போயட்ஸ் டெசிஷன் டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் அ போய் போயம் வில் ஹாவ் ஆல் தீஸ் ஃபிகர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்பீச் விச் ஃபிகர் ஆஃப் ஸ்பீச் ஹீ வாண்ட்ஸ் டு இன்க்ளூட் இட் இஸ் ஹிஸ் டெசிஷன் பர்சானிஃபிகேஷன் so we learn one by one in a very simplified manner and with that quiz it will make us understand even more better you won't forget it because we are going to have this figures of speech until our 10th standard so namak ipave nalla clear ah purinjundadna adutha adutha vagupugalla nam padikiradha adu sulabama da irukku podu we will not find much difficulty yeah first we'll start up with simile just a moment So what and all i had mentioned apart from this there are many figures of speech which we are going to study i would have written it on the board okay similes s i m i l e s it is the spelling of simile a simile is a comparison of two things using the words like or as irandu porutkal rendu vishayathukidaiye oppidal erpadugirathu and the கம்பாரிசன் நடக்கிறத லைக் அல்லது ஆஸ் என்கின்ற வார்த்தைகள் உபயோகிக்கப்படுகிறது ஆஸ் ஸ்வீட் ஹாஸ் ஹனி திதிப்பா இருக்குன்னு சொல்லலாம் எது போல திதிப்பா இருக்கு தேன் அளவுக்கு திதிப்பா இருக்கு ஹனி அவ அவ்வளோ ஒரு நல்ல ஒரு நபரா இருந்தா ஷி வாஸ் சோ ஸ்வீட் ஷி இஸ் அ ஸ்வீட் பர்சன் அப்படின்னா என்ன ரொம்ப இனிப்பா இருக்கான்னு அர்த்தமா எல்லார்ட்டையும் மென்மையா பேசுறது ரொம்ப அன்பா பேசுறது ஷி இஸ் ஆவி ஹேவிங் ஆல் குட் குவாலிட்டிஸ் ஆர் கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக்ஸ் ஸோ ஹர் கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக் இஸ் கம்பேர்ட் டு தி ஸ்வீட்னஸ் ஆஃப் அ ஹனி ரேசிங் லைக் அ ஃப்ரைட் அண்ட் ரேபிட் ஒரு முயல் வந்து பயந்து போயிருக்கு தன்னை யாரோ வேட்டையாட வரானா அது அவ்வளோ வேகத்துல ஓடுமா ஸோ திஸ் பர்சன் ஹி வாஸ் ரேசிங் இந்த ரன்னிங் காம்படிஷன்ல வந்து இந்த பையன் ஓட ஆரம்பிக்கிறான் அவன் ஓடின வேகம் வந்து எது போல இருந்ததுன்னா ஒரு பயந்து போன முயல் வந்து ஓடுற வேகத்துல இந்த பையன் வந்து ஓடினான் ஜிராஃபே ஜிராஃபே போல உயரமானது ஆஸ் டாலர்ஸ் இஃப் அட் ஆல் தெர் இஸ் சம் ஒன் ஆர் இஃப் அட் ஆல் தெர் இஸ் அ ஸ்டூடெண்ட் இன் யோர் கிளாஸ் அண்ட் ஹி லுக்ஸ் வெரி டால் இருக்கிறதுலேயே அந்த பையன் தான் அந்த பொண்ணும் ரொம்ப உயரமா இருக்காங்கன்னா அப்ப கம்பேர் பண்ணுவாங்க ஜிராஃபே போல உயரமா இருக்கான் ஜிராஃபே இங்க கவனிச்சோன்னா ஆஸ்ங்கிற வார்த்தை உபயோகிக்கப்பட்டிருக்கு ஒப்பிடுறதை அல்லது லைக் என்ற வார்த்தை உபயோகிக்கப்பட்டிருக்கு ஆஸ் ஸ்வீட் ஆஸ் அ பை கலர்ஃபுல் லைக் கிரையான்ஸ் ஹிஸ் லைஃப் வாஸ் ஆஸ் கலர்ஃபுல் ஆஸ் கிரையான்ஸ் ரொம்ப செழிப்பா சந்தோஷமா ரொம்ப நல்லா இருந்தது அவனுடைய வாழ்க்கை his life was colorful like crayons so there is a comparison and comparison is happening between two things they are not of like things rendume ore maadhiriyana vishayangala adukidaye da oppidal irukana kadaiyadu two things are unlike 
ரெண்டும் ஒன்னுத்துக்கும் இன்னொத்துக்கும் சம்மந்தமே இல்லை ஆனா அந்த இரண்டு விஷயங்களுக்கு இடையே தான் ஒப்பிடல் ஏற்படுறது அண்ட் யூ ஆர் கம்பேரிங் தீஸ் டூ திங்ஸ் வித் தி வேர்ட்ஸ் யூசிங் இன் பிட்வீன் வேர்ட்ஸ் சச் ஆஸ் லைக் ஆர் ஆஸ் where you use this you use only in similes simile simile la da indha mari comparison nadakum andha comparison nadakkaratha andha vaakyathla vaarthigalana as alladhu like ubhayogikkapatirukom if you want if at all this uh, meaning is very uh, small and examples are, are quite catchy you can make note of it indha udharanangal la ungalku sulabama irukku nyaavam vechikkaradhukku ஈஸியா இருக்கும்னா ஏதாவது ரெண்டு மூணு உதாரணங்கள் நீங்க இதுல இருந்து நோட் டவுன் பண்ணிக்கலாம் A simile is a comparison of two things using the words like or as. The two objects or two things that we are comparing, they are of different kinds. One thing is another thing. Nariya vidya sangalga. They are of totally different kinds. But they are having, having similarities. Edo or common thing irukki irandadu koon idai ilu. Adha vandhu in the common arkara vishiyata thaa compare pundru hoon. அந்த கம்பேர் பண்ணக்கூடிய வார்த்தைகள் வந்து லைக் அல்லது ஆஸ் okay i guess you would have written just a moment as dash as ice as cool as ice as colorful as ice as cold as ice ungalla yarachum try panna mudiyuma edoda namba eppadi namba compare pannuvom odha vandu perusa tension eduthuka maatan author vandu romba perusa edhume manasila eduthuka maatanga romba relaxed ah calm ah cool ah irukanga na ungala vandu as dash as ice you are near uh, to the answer but it is not cool it is cold yeah very nice correct as dash as a lion as big as a lion as brave as a lion as busy as a lion perfect it is as brave as lion or singatha pole buddhisaliya romba dhairyama anda soonalai ke eppadi nadandukanumo idella therinja oru nabara we call that person as brave
dash like a star, sit like a star, shine like a star, sassy, sassy like a star. ஒரு நட்சத்திரம் போல நீ ஜொலிக்கணும் அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவாங்க One center is answering correctly throughout. I want a response from other centers as well. Don't hesitate to give a try. Do not hesitate to give a try. If you don't have any questions, you will have to ask yourself. Do not as dash as an owl as wise as an owl as worried as a owl as wild as an owl in the characteristic of owl oda oppida padom enough you have answered correct it is wise as an owl buddhisali tanathukku dash like a fox clean clever clear adoda buddhisali tanathukku chaaduriyathukku thane fox cunningness clever correct ரொம்ப துணிச்சலா இருக்கிற நபரை வந்து போல்டு ஆர் போல்டு பர்சன் யூ கால்ட் அஸ் சாசி சாசிக்கான அர்த்தம் போல்டு யூ ஆர் குவைட் ஃபார்வர்ட் ஆஸ் டேஷ் அஸ் அ ஸ்னெயில் ஸ்மார்ட் ஸ்லோ ஷார்ப் நத்தையோ எந்த ஒரு கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக் வந்து நத்தையில இருக்கு அதை நம்மளோட ஒப்பிடுவாங்க இந்த கூட்டம் வந்து the crowd was moving as dash as a snail as slow as snail romba miduva nagaradengaradhukaga upayogikapadradha as slow as snail romba anda kootam miduva nagandhadu as slow as a snail the crowd went in the pace of a snow as slow as snail as dash as a peacock as poor proud poisonous proud yeah it is always proud of itself it is so beautiful right romba alaga irukum evlo alaga thoge virichu adu dance aadrudu ella paravigalum na peacock pola alaga illen dhaan and or kadai la kuda nam paathirpom it is so proud of its beauty as proud as peacock dash like a pancake tattaya irukirathu is flat as a flat like a pancake appdin solvanga i answered it for you it is flat if it is too plain flat correct dash as dash as grass as grass as good as green one center is continuously answering happy for that i want other, uh, response from other centers as well as green as grass last question for the topic simile
as dash as a bee, as busy as a bee, as bubbly as a bee, as bashful as a bee. They always compare, uh, they tell it for human being. For a bee, a pole, a pole, a busy are cono. Ayana, the tena, when the sega rich in air, Lea, it is always active. I'll stop this 10 questions. We'll move on to next topic. In the question is bashful, busy, bubbly. Bashful is very shy. It's 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 shy. It means bashful. Okay. If at all anyone had a doubt, what does bashful mean? For them, I'm letting know. Next one is metaphor. Compares two things by saying that one is something else. It usually uses words like is, are, was or were. Ingyum comparison na ana opidal vandhi where edo pati. It is something else. For example, Sara is always as a, is always a clown in the class. Clown na yappa par or veedi kya avala pata sirip vara mariye ruk pandra sail galna rumba veedi kya rukna adnala avala bandhu or clown orda compare panna patrak. So Sara is a girl, clown is a person who looks very funny. So her characteristic is compared with a clown. Komali thana mark. Sara is being compared with a clown. Is, are, was, were. As on like on gravartegal number simile love yogi pon metaphor liyum comparison na and it is also a figure of speech where it is having implied or hidden comparison between two things that are totally unrelated. Irandatuko no samadhi or clown or ponne ebri namlala opida mudiyo. There is a Hidden comparison. The comparison. There is an inner meaning when you compare it. So that is why it is called as metaphor. The, these two are sharing some common characteristic. And because of this reason, it is being compared. She is a walking encyclopedia. Aval or Nadamadam encyclopedia. Abdina and our Nakaila and Nanan Kate upon the encyclopedia book which in their panatama Kadayade. Alguanda, Avlo, Arivat, Naraya Vishingal, when the Tirinjo Chinka, Yeda Ketala, or Lala Vadala Likimudio Naraya knowledgeable. She is a knowledgeable person, rather Sola. Director, our Rumba knowledgeable and a person Sola Tubala. Comparison is with Encyclopedia because Encyclopedia is a book which has a lot of information in it. Whatever you search for, you get information from it. Either Pati Tedinalo, the Lenda Muluke, Tagaval Kadeku. Ade Polada in the Penayo and the Encyclopedia Walla, Opida Patrick. Metaphors, other examples, she is a shining star. My granddad is a wise owl, as wise as an owl. Ade sentence na ana buddhisali thanatana on the opida but the way it has been told as wise as an owl and the sentence apdisonona other simile ingro ana inge my granddad is a wise owl. We are telling it in the form of a normal sentence, but we are not using the comparative words that is uh, that is used for comparison as or like over here. He is a buzzy bee. The way you tell it. Uh, makes us identify whether it is a simile or a metaphor. So there is a hidden comparison between two things. The two things which are compared are totally, they are totally unrelated to each other, but they share common characteristics.
So metaphor is a comparison between two things which is saying one is something else. They are sharing common characteristics but two things are totally unrelated. There is a hidden meaning in it when you compare. If you want, you can make note of this. She is a walking encyclopedia. She is a shining star. If you answer the questions, you can answer the questions. You can answer the questions. The way it was written made us to identify it as a simile. Whereas, instead of using the word as or like, it is written in a normal manner which makes us uh, understand that it is a metaphor. There is a hidden comparison between two things which are totally unrelated. That makes it as a metaphor. Just a moment. Which sentence is a metaphor? The king is as clever as a fox. The king is a sly fox. One buddhisaliyana, one nari. That is, all that and the raja. The king. The meaning is same, but way it is written is different. Either on the a metaphor in slow in the end of our king. The king is as clever as a fox. One vision I am watching. As like in the end of our article, or that, then I am going to go. If you want to get the strike, then the sentence is easy to identify. Correct. It is B. Correct. Claps to you. Which which sentence is a metaphor? Which sentence is a metaphor? Harry Potter is a seeker. Harry Potter is like a seeker. Which is one? Which one is a metaphor? You used to search things. You used to find many things. Excavate for things. That is why it is written as seeker. So which sentence is a metaphor? Is like a seeker. Is a seeker. A. Perfect. The center is answering perfectly from the beginning. Happy for that. Which sentence is a metaphor? My cat is a lion. My cat roared like a lion and scared me. என்னுடைய பூனை ஒரு சிங்கத்தை போனது என்னுடைய பூனை சிங்கத்தை போல கர்ஜிச்சு என்னை வந்து பயம் புடுத்தித்து கரெக்ட் Which said what is a metaphor? Sorry. Which sentence is an example of a metaphor? James is a beast. James is like a beast. I want other centers also to give a try. It should not just be a one one center who keeps on answering. I want many centers to answer. A. Correct. Very similar. It is very similar to the other sentence. What is a metaphor? Uh -huh. A metaphor is a comparison that does not use like or as. A metaphor is same as simile. In the option. Just give, uh, tell me A or B. That is sufficient.
ஒரு ஆப்ஷன் வந்து மெட்டாஃபரும் சிமிலியும் ஒன்று தாங்கிறது இன்னொன்று மெட்டாஃபர் சிமிலி மெ மெட்டாஃபர் வந்து கம்பேரிசன் எங்கே நம்ம லைக்கும் ஆஸும் உபயோகிக்க மாட்டோம் அப்படின்னு சொல்கிறது மெட்டாஃபர் இஸ் சேம் ஆஸ் சிமிலிங்கிறது தான் பி ஆப்ஷனில் கொடுத்துருக்கு மெட்டாஃபரும் சிமிலியும் ஒன்றா கிடையாது மெட்டாஃபரும் சிமிலியும் வேற வேற வெர் என் வி ஆர் யூஸிங் வேர்ட்ஸ் சச் ஆஸ் ஆஸ் அண்ட் லைக் இன் சிமிலி வி டோன்ட் யூஸ் சச் வேர்ட்ஸ் இன் மெட்டாஃபர் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் ஹேவிங் அ ஹிடன் கம்பாரிசன் மெட்டாஃபர் இஸ் ஹேவிங் அண்ட் ஹிடன் கம்பாரிசன் ஏ ஆப்ஷன் இஸ் ரைட் Which sentence is a metaphor? Carla is as sweet and gentle as a lamb. Carla is a sweet and gentle lamb. Which sentence is a metaphor? Right. B. B again is the right answer. Last Which sentence. sentence is a metaphor? Kirk is a hairy like a furry boy beast. Kirk is a hairy beast. Yes, it is B again. Now, if at all you have understood the simile and metaphor very clearly, Now the quiz which I am going to show to you is going to have both the questions. That is simile and metaphor we will categorize. We will see how it works. What is a simile? A direct comparison between two things. Comparison using the words like or as. Comparison using the word kind. It is B option. Wherein we use, wherein it is a comparison and usage of words such as as or like. If at all you also guessed it, right? Good. Right. Thank you. What is a metaphor? A comparison using the word kind. Comparison using the words like or as. A direct comparison between two things. we shall check the answer which you have given yes it is both a and c it is raining cats and dogs it's an example of it is a simile The rain has been compared to cats and dogs. What do you say about this? Is there are animals falling from the sky. If you don't have to be a fan of the sky, you don't have to be a fan of the sky. You don't have to be a fan of the sky. You don't have to be a fan of the sky. Cats and dogs are crying. You don't have to be a fan of the sky. It is raining hard. You don't have to be a fan of the sky. The rain is loud. You don't have to be a fan of the sky. பாத்தியா <laughs> ஒரு 
how quiet she is. Which of the following is a simile? The monstrous baby, the green forest, the boy is as quick as a jackal, the boy is an angel. C. Perfect. Which of the following is a metaphor? The devilish daughter, the sad mother, the mum is as skinny as a bean pole, the daughter is scared. Sogamana amma, or pay mari or ponne. The mum is as skinny as a bean pole. In the or sadhi me illa, the mum ke rumbo oldiya millinge rukanga. The daughter is scared. The ponne bind boy rukka. A. It is correct. Or pay a pola or pon pay ikum or ponne ikum comparison. It is because of the inner uh, characteristic of she is very scary, rude. Her characteristic is compared, not the way she is looking. Okay. Inner meaning is the characteristic of a devil and a girl is being taken into consideration. Which of the following? Which of the following is the correct spelling of a simile? Guess one and a babo. Ita nairo number simile metaphor path and endroko. Yedu one the correct on a spelling simile. It is not A, it is B, S I M I L E. That is why when I was teaching. Similarly, I repeated the spelling, which is the correct spelling for metaphor. Metaphor kind of spelling in it is M E T A P H O R. Last question, I shall end after this. Which of the following is not a simile or a metaphor? Simile is not a metaphor. It 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 is not The right answer. He is a lion. Ama singa tapola rka. You are comparing. Idu vande preposition. Sorry, it is an adjective. I'm so sorry. He is tall. Tall engar denna adjective. Ama wireama rka. Yepri irka wireama rka. So that is adjective. That's why it is not simile or a metaphor. So today's session was all about simile and metaphor. I hope it was. I made it little interesting with this with the help of the quiz. And if there are any doubts, you can please ask me. I shall end my session over here, thinking that there are no doubts. Nandri, Varga Bharadam, Milga Tamarakam.